This is the 5-Minute Monday Motivator with me, Alistair McCall, and it's time to get your week started champion-minded. Hey everybody, welcome to it. It's another week, rise and shine. It's Monday, and this is the 5-Minute Monday Motivator with me, Alistair McCaw. In this episode, I'm focusing on confidence, on how to boost your confidence. Now, here's something I've learned over the years, and that is the most successful and happy people are confident people. Sure, just like you and me, they have their difficulties and challenges and self-doubts, but what separates them is that they quickly move on because they've trained their mindsets to switch from negativity and doubt to positivity and belief. You know, we sometimes hold ourselves back through limiting beliefs that we're not good enough and we spend time comparing ourselves to others. And we all know that comparison is a no-win game. You're not going to win that one, guys. There's going to be someone always richer, fitter, better looking. All these things, comparison is a no-win game. Remember, you are unique. Focus on that. We like to compare ourselves to others and ask ourselves why we aren't there yet. But to gain confidence and increase your self-esteem, you have to put habits in place to keep your confidence bucket full every day. I don't believe that some people have confidence and others don't. It's simply that successful people are more accomplished at managing their feelings of self-doubt and silencing that little internal voice before it has a chance to jeopardize them. In other words, they have taken control of their mindset. Now, regardless of how confident we might appear on the outside, we are all vulnerable and we can especially be vulnerable when we're ambitious and striving to achieve big goals. Now, I'm somebody that's, that loves to set big goals, always have from a young age, and believe me, I also have my fears and doubts, but that, you know, I always believe that that is part of the journey. Our confidence can also be easily knocked off by a passing comment from a friend or a colleague or even a family member, for example or when we're working hard to deliver a project quickly or make a change happen and we're faced with blockers and negativity. Listen, I've even known confidence to disappear for no apparent reason at all. The thing is, is that we're already programmed in our upbringing. We're already programmed from a very young age about our beliefs. It can be about money. It can be about our looks. It can be about our talents even our, uh, our intellect, for example. So, you know, what matters most, guys, is what you think about yourself. When you look in the mirror in the morning, what do you look for? Do you look for the things that you don't like? Your ears, your nose, your eye, whatever it may be, instead of looking for what you do love, instead of focusing on the good things. That is how you build confidence. That is how you build your self-esteem. Here's the great news, no matter what upbringing you've had, no matter what's happened in the past, who has said what, you get to change that, it is your choice. You get to choose your attitude, you get to choose your thoughts, regardless what's happened or what somebody has said. That's why eradic eradicating your self-limiting beliefs by changing your inner dialogue and what you think about yourself is so critical to your success and happiness. Now guys, I'm gonna give you five things that will help you boost your confidence, okay? Here we go, number one, be more mindful of the things you say to yourself, okay? Catch yourself being negative and change that immediately. You know, people ask me, how do I become more positive? How do I build my confidence? Well, it comes down to the things that you're saying to yourself. That affects your self-image, okay? So if you find yourself being negative, quit it, stop straight away, change it to something positive. Number two, surround yourself with people who build you up and that don't criticize or break you down all the time. That's so important. You know, Jim Rohn said it, you become the five people you spend the most time with. Words are so powerful. Number three, accept compliments. In fact, write them down. When someone gives you a compliment, it's almost like someone giving you a gift or a present for your birthday or Christmas. And if you're not accepting that compliment, you're like making excuses, whatever it may be, that means you're pretty much giving that gift back to that person, okay? So accept compliments, I write them down. Number four, look for the best in yourself. Again, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? It's so easy for us to pick out the things we don't like, but start focusing on the things that you admire about yourself, okay? And then number five, this is a big one, self-reflect at the end of the day. In fact, write, write down at least three things 
you thought you did well today. So I'm going to leave that as the challenge for this week is the self-reflection, writing down three things a day that you did well or you admire yourself about or you thought, you know what, I really, really rock those areas. Guys, this is how you boost your confidence. You have to take action, okay? And again, writing things down is a very powerful way to boost your confidence that you see them. So again, those five are, number one, be more mindful of the things you say to yourself. Number two, surround yourself with people who build you up. Number three, accept compliments. Number four, look for the best in yourself. And number five, self-reflect at the end of the day. So that's it for this week. I wish you an amazing Monday. I wish you an amazing week. Remember that excellence is an attitude. And you know what time it is? It's go time. It's go time.